kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 5 of my video series on group chatting app using Firebase in Android Studio. Alright guys so in this video we will implement and we will try to attach the Firebase inside our Android application. So let's get started. So here let me first of all open the Firebase project. So I am going to my Firebase console. And here we can create another project and we name the project as group chatting and let's uh, try to select the country as Pakistan since I am in Pakistan and you will, we need to accept the terms and conditions and now you can see our project is now ready and now we need to add an android app to our project so you we first of all need to copy our package name so for our package name we can copy it and paste it here and we just need to click on register app after that we need to download this google services dot json file okay so here we have this file now but as I already had the file so I need to remove both these two files and we need to download it again and here we have the file and we now need to have okay so after we have cut and now we need to paste it here inside our app alright so we have just pasted it let me see here okay so now we you need to go to project view again and after that you need to click on next and now you need to click on copy it and here go back and instead of this build dot gradle you, you need to paste it here and then we also need to copy that and paste it here and then we can just click next and skip and we now need to click on sync now so in this way we can integrate the firebase to our android project alright and after that we can um, what we can do here now it is uh, already connected and now we need to have let me open firebase 
file based dependencies. And from there we can have the dependency first of all for the analytics, uh, sorry for the authentication. So you, you need to just copy that and go to build.gradle and here you write compile and paste it here. Also we will be requiring the database. So just copy that and write compile and paste it here and now click on sync now but mm, i think it will have an error so we need to, we will be requiring to add the maven dependency okay so as you can see we have got the error so you don't need to get worried just go to build.gradle and here after j center add the the maven and write url maven.google.com and here we have now got into this we have integrated the firebase authentication and the database now what we can do here okay so we will have some variables and objects uh, and we will first of all uh, use the firebase auth object then we will use the firebase user so in order to do that so first of all we have co uh, we are in the main activity so here we can have firebase auth and here we have called this uh, out and also we okay so after this out we have the database reference and we name it as reference and for the out we first of all uh, here need to say out equal to firebase out dot get instance okay so now we need to check if the u if the user is already logged in then we don't need to open this um, main activity rather we will open the group chat activity automatically so whenever the, the user opens the app he does not need to log in again so here we can check if out dot get current user is not equal to null then we can just start the group chat activity so we can say intent i equal to new intent and here we can say main activity dot this and group chat activity dot class and then we will have the start activity here and instead of this else part we can just set up our layout and all initialize all other things all right and after that we need to use the reference so we can say reference equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and here we can use the uh, we can say users all right so th that was it inside our own create uh, method and now we need to have the we need to use i mean okay so here is we have this login user uh, method and inside that method we first of all need to say use progress part dot set visibility and we need to use view dot visible and then we can get the email first of all then we can say string email equal to and let me see what was the name of this and here it was text email so we can say text email dot get text dot to string then we will have the password 
equal to text password dot get text dot to string and then we can check if email dot equals okay so we can check if e email is not equal is not empty and the password dot equals and the password is also not empty and here we can say auth dot sign in with email and password and here we can use email password and here we can have add on complete listener new on complete listener and inside this listener we can check if the task is successful so if the task is successful first of all the first thing we need is we need to stop the progress progress bar so here we can say progress bar dot set visibility and we need to set it to view dot gone and print a toast message that log in text uh, length short dot show all right and after that we can open the group chat uh, the group chat activity and here we have we can just print and here inside this else part we can just print a message wrong email password try again and we can display a message and also we can say progress bar dot set visibility view dot gone and here we can now uh, log in the user and after that in, inside this uh, where we have the go to register activity and i think now that is enough for this video i hope you have understood how to first of all integrate the, the firebase and then how to log in the firebase and okay so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye